Hello everyone, this is Azir, and welcome back. I'm playing Food Fantasy here, and in this video, we'll be um, on Fallen Angels. Um, before I get into that, I'm going to give a quick shout out to Serenity. Um, I did Google Translate here, and the comment was, Do you accept requests? If you do, can you play um, Azir Lane or Girls Frontline? I really like your voice. Keep up the work. <laughs> I really appreciate this comment here. Um, I looked at both the games, and they're both, they both look really fun, and they're attractive. Um, Azure Lane especially. Um, I'll think about Azure Lane. Um, the uh, voicing, and I guess the characters when they um, do their action, or not action, but when they fight. It looks similar to um, Food Fantasy when, uh, when we fight too, so maybe something I'll get into. And plus, in the, in the title there, Azure lane. <laughs> it's pretty cool. Alright, so um, in this video, as I mentioned, we'll be going over Fallen Angels. Um, and a uh, quick emphasis here, I'm saving all my embers and summonings for the next um, event that will come up. Uh, people have been mentioning Caviar, but some other people have also mentioned Pufferfish. Uh, Pufferfish is a support character and they're actually linked to each other, Caviar and Pufferfish. They're both super good uh, URs in their own perspectives or aspects. Um, I want to roll for both, so I want both. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I emphasize, or I would like to advise, uh, save your embers for the next um, upcoming ultra rare unit that comes out. All right, so Fallen Angels. So once you get to, I believe, level uh, 26, I believe that's what it was, uh, you can unlock catacombs, which is very, very essential for uh, Fallen Angels and their growth. So, um, we go to Trials here, and as you can see, there's catacombs, and you get three chances a day, and I advise to basically set up your team, get as far as you can, and you'll see why. Uh, let me just grab a couple units here. Alright, so... I got to my best record, as you can see up at the top uh, right corner there, um, it's floor 29. And if you get to certain floors, you can actually sweep up to a certain amount. So I could actually sweep up to 10 here. And as I sweep, I get more, um, <laughs> more fallen angels that I can purify and evolve and hopefully get a, a, a rare or ultra rare uh, fallen angel unit or pet. Um, have, people have been mentioned calling them pets and I believe if you sweep you get an extra chance to uh, To get those extra rare units, so um, definitely get as far as you can that way you can sweep more floors um, Let's go back to fallen angels now So we click fallen down there in the lower bottom half of the uh, screen there and You're actually given three at the beginning and you lock you lock these um purification slots with crystals. So I've used all my crystals to unlock these only. I think I've only used crystals to unlock them, so I've been saving my crystals. And um, I advise the first thing you should do with the crystals is to unlock these Fallen Angel slots. So there are grades to each Fallen Angel. Um, we can see here with the top row, we got a, a D grade, so at the uh, Oh yeah. Okay, so where I'm pointing here or clicking, um, it's a D, grade D or Eisen D. Then we got a C, and as you can see, the outcomes become better. We got Eisen B, and there we go, Eisen A. And that was basically from the sweep there. I got the uh, the grade A there. So pretty cool. Um, usually, when we purify, we want to purify the ones that are success rate 15. So as you can see, we go down the grades, Eisen D success rate 75% chance. Um, I would not waste a purification slot for this. I would just automatically just click Awaken. 75% chance is pretty high. And it goes by 10, so out of 10, I got eight of them. So that's about 70 to 80% there, 75%. <laughs> I, got, I got a little lucky, 80% there. So um, I got those slots there. Um, we can go down here, so Aizen C is 50% chance, Aizen B is also 50% chance, but you got a chance there for a rare unit. It tells you what their favorite food soul is. I'll get more into that later in the video. And Aizen A 
There we go. Two chances. You get either a rare or like a a super rare, I guess. Um, fallen Angel uh, unit. So, and that's a 15% chance there. So let's go ahead and do that here with these guys. Oh shoot! Ah! I just said not to awaken them, and there we go. Okay, so number one thing not to do <laughs> is to awaken them, as because it's a 15% chance. Oh, uh, I fumbled there. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. I can't get them back either. Oh, okay. So here is <laughs> grade A here. So you click purify. Click purify. Clicking purify. Clicking purify. <laughs> and sometimes, you know, if you have the time, you can purify the uh, grade B if you like. Because there's still always a chance there to get that rare, super rare uh, unit. And where's my last one here? We'll do him. Okay, and every day um, you're you're given four chances to use your water. As you can see there, above where I'm clicking, you got water. Total chances four. What this does is it gives you the ability to unlock here a um, a magic dish, and I'll get into that later in this video, or I'll get into it right now actually. So the units I mostly want right now is this girl here. So I'm lucky I didn't <laughs> accidentally click Awaken on her, because I really want more of her, don't have enough of her. Um, so let's click Water here. So you ha you can sometimes get chances there, as you can see. It upgraded to the second slot, so I got really lucky there. I got no dishes, so let's go to the next one. Click Water. Oh, I got really lucky again, sweet. Um, so this one gives her, and these guys give... Okay, so Spectre. Spectra, excuse me, and they and she is Igumi. So Spectre, I think. Yeah, I don't really need Spectre as much as I need um, Igumis here or brave Igumis. So let's throw a. Uh, watch, I'll save my purification for these guys. <laughs> so let's save it there. So we um, purify these guys here. Um, well, I'll just do it for to show. Let's see if I get lucky or not. Okay, I, I used it on my Spectre. I wanted to use it on Yugumi. Oh my gosh, I'm fumbling too much here. But no worries. As you can see there, watering would only give you one little square. But I got sometimes you can get lucky. You can get two or more. I believe I got three one time. But there's two right there with just one water. As opposed to this only gave me one. So I would use my last chance and upgrade it. But um, I don't really need... I don't want to waste my magic dishes because you're very limited to them limited to how many you can make, or how many you can obtain, so um, I'm going to save them there. So let's go back to my restaurant, and we actually go to our research, excuse me, go to research there. So this is how you can go to your different recipes. So you click the little top corner there of the menu, where I'm clicking there, click festival menu, and you can see your, your different type of menus that you have. So this is how you can get to Lost Cuisines, if people are wondering. But, we go down here to Magic Food. So, you don't want to make Brave Capsules, because this will make it so that uh, you have a 40% chance to not get Brave. So, on the topic of Fallen Angels, the two most favorite Fallen Angels to have are either Brave or Cautious. So, I've only been making um, Brave Syringes. <laughs> so, we made three there. And I mean, we can make um, other ones, but uh, I'll get into, well, I'll make a capsule here. So, something I don't see myself using too much would be like um, defense as much. So, let's make a couple of these. I'll just make one. So, we made a capsule there. Alright, so, uh, let's go back to Fallen. So, as I was uh, mentioning, the best Fallen Angels to have are either Brave, as you can see there, Nature is brave or cautious. Nature cautious. Um, what they give is, as you can see where I'm clicking here, with a little light bulb, a uh, little uh, circle there, Fallen Angel's HP increases by 50%. So if you roll, you'll get a 50% chance increase when you roll the HP stat. So we'll go into rolling later on here, but let's finish up our, um, our purification process. 
So as we saw, we got I made a couple syringes, so I want a couple I want braves of these of these um of these units. Of these uh who was she again? Uh she was uh the, of the Queen Conch. Um so we're gonna add syringe here. Click confirm and confirm. There we got the syringe, and if you upgrade up to here, you can add a pill. Two syringes I found out doesn't really increase the chance by 40%. So I've done that already too, and I've been reading around on Reddit, and um, two syringes don't really work. If you did anything, uh, use a syringe and use a pill. So if I upgrade it all the way, I would add a pill here, um, for instance, this one here, to uh, to reduce the chances of getting the, um, the defensive increase for the Fallen Angels. But um, as you can see, I don't really use pills too much. Just get that first slot, get that brave singe, syringe, and uh, add it. So we've added it now. So hopefully, they have a 40% chance increase now to get the brave uh, stat. Um, so yeah. So let's see here. Uh, okay. So. I should have added a cautious actually. I needed an HP one. So we'll go into the uh, the natures here. So as I was uh, mentioning, the best natures are to have brave and cautious. All the other ones I pretty much fuse them together. I mean I've made a um or a attack speed one resolute here, and I was testing it. And uh, the reason why I tested on her was because um she has a basic attack ability to charm. Uh, the enemies for uh, for I think one second, but her attack is quite low, <laughs> so I want to just boost up the attack as much as possible. See if her attack changes, and it doesn't change too much. I mean, the stat line increases by like was it one thousand four hundred or so? Um, uh, it increases more than what these actual numbers are because its favorite um, favorite food soul is the following here, which is. Uh, um, like B-52, Sanma, and uh, Sweet Tofu. So they get a 10% increase in addition to this 50% increase of, uh, of uh, nature. Um, so yeah, so let's get into this here. Um, so Brave, as you can see here, uh, the Brave nature, I rolled the attacks on them, and I got 64 for the purple sl slot. And we can go down here, so we got, for instance here, as you can see, uh, the uh, the nature type is uh, it's for critical attack damage increase, and my attack see the purple stat there, it's 43, when this was 64, so that's roughly a 50% increase. It added by by was it 21 or so, so almost 50% ish there. Um, it did round up, huh? <laughs> oh well, no worries. Um, but yeah, so brave is also is very very good um, because attack and HP is very important. When you roll, I did not know this for the longest time. So for the longest time, I've had like, for instance, a bunch of level tens, um, and if I've only had these two little slots, and I was wondering how come I can't get these third slots. And I was like, oh, you gotta get to level twenty, um, because if you do the daily quests, they tell you to get these um, these fallen angels to level ten, but they don't tell you to get to level twenty. So I've always gotten to level ten. And I kind of stopped there. I was wondering. How do these people get there at the next level? Oh, you're supposed to you're supposed to train them and get them to level 20. <laughs> and then uh, that's how I got them here, to level 20 here, and got that third stat. So what is very important, though, is to have at least one HP roll on every one of these um, Fallen Angels. So my third one here will be an HP roll. Uh, the reason why is because um, HP is just really important, especially when you go to catacombs. Um, when you get to the higher levels, as I'm finding out, 30 plus, which I'm not at yet, you need that um, extra HP on your units so that they can withstand that um, like super attack from the enemy. Um, so that's where the unlocking HP would be super handy. When you roll your stats, try to get at least one HP. And um, when you get one HP, uh, that will help you out indefinitely for catacombs. Um, that way you can go and progress through the stages. Um, so, as for instance here, Igumi, I'm going to roll my fourth slot here when I get her to level 30. 
um, to, for HP. Or I might even re-roll the third one there um, to get HP. So um, let's actually do it right now. So we'll do this one for level 18 here. So we click Fallen, click the Fallen Angel we want. Click Train here on the uh, left side. Um, so we got Upgrade here, which is how we level. So basically all the, uh, the common here and the rares I'll be using to level them up. So I'll even use these guys. And there we go, level 20. I don't think, uh, maybe I'll be able to, yep, I'll get a level 20 with one of them. Save that experience there. So we upgrade our level 20. And we go to um, the stat, uh, smelt here. And as you can see, there's a third stat now. And we're going to re-roll this for HP. So, when we roll, <laughs> I almost clicked there. When we roll, we want to make sure, we can oh, we see how we can change it. So you can go back and forth like this until you see a stat line that you like. Or if you don't have that um, extra smelt, smelt, you can go click enhance and go back here so you can change up the uh, change up the roll. Like for instance here, we got 260 there, but we go to enhance, go back. The 260 roll was changed to 270 there. But we want to roll, we roll this third stat here to get um, HP. So you kind of have to know your, your HP stats. So I know a legendary HP stat would be 595. So I want to look for either 595 or 425 actually on this third stat. So there's a couple 425 which was not bad. Uh, there we go, 595 a couple times. And it's good to also see HP there. See how you see HP here? got 595 595 so this is a really good time to roll right now so let's click roll let's see how lucky we are darn no HP no worries let's re-roll again maybe 475 might be another I don't think 475 is another HP line but it's okay we got a couple 595s there 21 oh wow defense probably yeah, alright, so let's re-roll that again. I mean, if you have them... Okay, so, <laughs> I should go back here. If you don't have too many of these reinc... Um, I think they're called reincarnation spirits or something. Um, I forgot the name of them, but these are very, very important. And you're very limited to how many you get, so... Um, savage them as much as you can, but I have quite a lot. Uh, <laughs> so I, I, I've been rolling a few times for each one. Um, but for instance, I got that legendary, not legendary, but uh, epic uh, defensive stat. I would, if you're limited on your um, reincarnation spirits, I would have stick with that um, legend, epic defensive stat with 21. But I have enough, so I'm going to keep rolling here. It's probably going to be 11. Yep. Come on, give me HP. Okay, so see, as you can see there, you got to be careful. That one of the 595s already got uh, was removed, so I'm gonna actually reset this again. I don't know if I'll be able to get a good roll in this video. It's not getting that HP. Wow, that defense. It's like rolling gotcha, right? It's like how lucky can you get? This is a pretty good rolling um, simulation right now that I have, so I don't want to. <laughs> I don't want to cancel out. Because we got some high, some uh, high HP stats. Okay, you know what? We're gonna stop here with this HP one, and uh, I'll re-roll it later in the video or later off-screen. But uh, <laughs> I'm sorry, everyone. You had to bear with that. Um, I hope you got a lot of information from that um, from that chart there, uh, created by uh, from the Reddit um, user uh, Ro. I believe that's I O or J O. Um, credit to them for creating this Fallen Angel guide. I put a link in the bottom of the video. Um, as they were mentioning, they also talk about how uh, attack uh, is better than attack speed. And um, as I tested out there with this resolute um, uh, natured uh, Inugami, Fallen Angel, I, I should have probably gone attack. Attack would have been a lot better on her. So that's what I wanted to go over for rolling. Uh, fallen Angels, level increasing, um, let's see what, what we have, oh we have enhancements, so as I kind of mentioned, the uh, the brave ones, 
and the cautious ones are very important. And let's go to this one here. Um, let's see, which one do I not really need? I don't really need, for instance, lively. Oh, that's a lot. <laughs> I will I will lively too. I mean, so I had a crit attack right there, and I was thinking crit attack might be really good on um, B52, and uh, because it, he he increases when he I send him to one star, he increased his uh, crit chance and crit damage a lot, and uh, I thought maybe I'll just try it out. And crit rate, it's not as important as attack. So soul power increased so much because of attack, and it just it's just overall so much better than than crit rate right now. I'm not sure why. Maybe they'll change it in the future, but um, as you can see here, I tested out with crit rate, I tested out with attack speed, and just straight up attack, pure attack is a lot better. But because I rolled such good rolls on this natured critical attack increase fallen angel, I'm still going to keep that there. So we got this one here. So we'll test it out on that res- well, do I have a level 1? Yeah, I do. So I have a level 1 here. Um, critical da critical attack damage and defense. So I'm going to keep the defense there. Let's use the critical attack damage and fuse it here. So let's go train. So we call here 64 attack, 90 attack, uh, and 90 attack. So when we train it and enhance, uh, I think it's the blue one. Nope, not the blue one. It was the purple one. Okay. So I wish they told you like which one is which. You have to kind of get used to to see these little icons at the lower corner of each um, each unit to see, oh, it's a brave. Brave usually has the arrow, and HP has that little um, red raindrop. So let's use this one here. And when we enhance it, as you can see there, first enhancement, 100% chance. The attack increases 70, 100, and 228. So let's enhance it. As you enhance more, the chances get lower. So right there, 90% chance. So that's enhancement right there. Um, once you get to like level <laughs> the 10th one, I think it's like a 10% chance. So fallen angels are very, very um, hard to upgrade, but they are they give very good benefits. All right, so um, let's go to our food souls. Um, so we were talking about that 10% increase earlier in the video. And what that 10% increase is, we'll get into it here. So go to Fallen Angels, so click on Special. Fallen Angel provides 10% stat boost if you equipped any of these two uh, spirits there. So Inugami and Warrior Spirit. So um, the 10% increase, remember how it was 100 attack? It went to 110, so straight up there, that's a 10% that's a increase. Let's say I changed it to a different Fallen Angel. They, they label the favorite fallen angels with a star on the corner of a, the upper corner of each one. So let's change it to even the warrior spirit. Let's change it to this one here. 60 attack, 43. Equipped it. Confirm. It still stays, stays at 43 and 60. So you want to make sure you got the got the correct one so you get that extra 10% increase. And uh, that will definitely pop up your uh, food soul power here. Um, or increase your food cell power. So uh, yeah, that's um, as you can see there. So fallen angel, uh, we got attack speed there. When I change it to an attack one, let's change it to oh not that one. Do I have an attack one? Yep, yeah, this one. Equipped, bumped up, bumped up about a thousand one hundred. So went to four thousand four hundred there. And with that ten percent increase, of course. Um, but. Yeah, <laughs> at the moment here, this uh, this attack one, it wasn't a brave, um, this one I'm currently equipping right there, it wasn't a brave natured, so the 43 should have been 64 if it was brave natured, so I'm going to stick with this one since I rolled so well on it with those legendary stats, um, and inside I'm just kind of hoping attack speed kind of works, <laughs> but okay, let's look at the attack speed here. 2,583, down here in the corner, oops, down here in the corner there, when I take her out, uh, remove, 999, I increased it by about 1,500 there, 
just by equipping that one single fallen angel. And uh, yeah, um, I think that does it for most of the fallen angels. Basically, when you roll these fallen angels, um, three stats, you want to keep two. Um, or you want to get, try to get brave, and you wanna try to get cautious here. Um, HP is really important. Uh, cautious is mostly for uh, like defensive units or your healers. Um, brave units are for your attack units and your magic attack units. Um, yeah, uh, let's see here. So, dun dun dun. Defense is also good for the defensive um, defensive uh, food soul. So you can roll like HP and defense, for instance. So let's see here. I have one for, um, I believe it's, yeah, um, Escarot, Escarot, I believe that's how you pronounce it. Apologies if I mispronounce it. I rolled a HP increase, which is super awesome, but I have an HP here, and I kept a defense, because I got a legendary 30 um, defensive boost there, so I kept with that. Um, so I'm probably going to do a 3 HP, maybe 1 defense, or if I get another legendary defense, might as well keep it, save those uh, reincarnation spirit generators there. Um, yeah. <laughs> so, I think that's most of it here. Um, leave a comment if you want to go over something with Fallen Angels. Um, and uh, yeah, thank you everyone for tuning this video. If you can, please like the video if you like the video. Dislike the video if you dislike the video. Subscribe if you want to be notified of any of my future content. And as always everyone, take care.